Good morning. For those of you who needed guide for the uh, liturgy of the hour, please let me know. I will be going to Cutters this week. Thank you.
Just as Jesus died and rose again, so through Jesus God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. And as in Adam all die, so also in Christ will all be brought to life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. So last week, as the Universal Church celebrated All Saints Day and All Souls Day, so to us in the Dominican Order with the Order of Preachers, we celebrated usually on November 7th All Dominican Saints, and today, November 8th, All Dominican Souls. So coming to celebrate these great mysteries, let us quiet our hearts and minds and thank God for his many gifts. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask that Mary of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who wondrously call us to the same hope, we humbly implore you on behalf of our deceased brothers and sisters that those whom you have loved with an ineffable love in this life and whom you have granted to serve you with apostolic charity and the preaching of the gospel, you may mercifully take unto yourself in peace and joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the Book of Wisdom. Love justice, you who judge the earth. Think of the Lord in goodness and seek him in integrity of heart. Because he is found by those who test him not, and he manifests himself to those who do not disbelieve him. For perverse counsels, separate a man from God, and his power put to the proof rebukes the foolhardy. Because into a soul that plots evil, wisdom enters not, nor dwells she in a body under death of sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline flees deceit and withdraws from senseless counsels, and when injustice occurs, it is rebuke. For wisdom is a kindly spirit, yet she acquits not the blasphemer of his guilty lips. Because God is the witness of his inmost self and the sure observer of his heart and the listener to his tongue, for the spirit of the Lord fills the world, is all embracing, and knows what man says. The Word of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have probed me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. 
my journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know the whole of it. Behind me and before you hem me in and rest your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Things that cause sin will inevitably occur, but woe to the one through whom they occur. It would be better for him if a millstone were put around his neck and he'd be thrown into the sea than for him to cause one of these little ones to sin. Be on your guard. If your brother sins, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times in one day and returns to you seven times saying, I am sorry, you shall forgive him. And the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. The Gospel of the Lord. So again, dear friends, we are celebrating the Feast of Dominican All Souls. And as I reflect on this feast, I reflect on my own vocation and how I discern to enter the order. And I remember one of the primary reasons why I felt the Lord was calling me to the Dominican order, to the, the order of our preachers, was because of the strong community life that we bear. That the strong community life that that we hold as a true virtue, as a pillar of our spirituality. That we have, that in my own discernments, especially early on and before I entered, I knew I needed not only friends, but I needed brothers. I needed brothers to keep me accountable. That I needed brothers to keep me accountable, to keep on doing those things that I felt that I needed for my own health, my own holiness, my own healing. That I needed these, I needed brothers to keep me accountable, to keep on doing those things where I knew that it would lead me on deeper and deeper to a road, to a, a road simply of happiness. And I feel that to this day, that it's the order, it's these brothers I live with that keep me accountable towards that. And so we have today's gospel. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. 
And if he wrongs you seven times in one day and returns to you seven times saying, I am sorry, you should forgive him. Now, this passage is not only about avoiding sin and allowing others to avoid sin as well. It is about that, but it's more than that. It's about allowing others to set those good habits, to put our own friends, our neighbors, our brothers and sisters, setting those habits that will allow us to live a life of happiness, a life of peace, and truly a life of, bo- a life of joy. Because, I mean, for many of us within the sacred chamber, we remember when we were starting to really take on the faith, to really be intentional about this faith that we have in front of us, that we have within us, that we needed other people to attend mass with or to say the rosary with to, or, to, <laughs> or to fast with on Fridays. We needed those other people around us to allow us to keep on this road to holiness and peace. And this is one of the things that the Lord is speaking about in today's gospel. Because oftentimes we cannot and will not and outright refuse to do those things for our own betterment. I mean, take fasting, for example. Nobody in their right mind would actually volunteer to fast unless we had something to fast for and people to fast with. So today, dear friends, as we contemplate this gospel and and indeed we contemplate today's feast of Dominic on all souls, we unite ourselves to each other, our brothers and sisters in the present and the church and the order in the past. We remember all those people who have gone before us trotting this sacred road towards holiness, peace, and life. So dear friends, as we unite ourselves with our past and present, especially as we receive this Eucharist, Let us not squander so great a gift, but rather utilize these graces for our own healing and happiness to bring our own brothers and sisters together with the face of God. We offer our prayers to the Lord. We pray for the universal church, especially those members of the order and friends and benefactors of the order who have died in the past year, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the continued progress of peace throughout our world. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those in need of healing, those affected by the coronavirus, by cancer, by any disease and illness whatsoever, for their healing, perseverance, and strength. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the persecuted church and the mission church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray for all those who are discerning their way of life, especially to the archdiocese, to religious life, to the Dominican order. We pray to the Lord. Lord, In a special way, we pray for the recently deceased, all those who are remembered on our altar, as well as the repose of the souls of Lugelio and Ogadana Serrano, We pray for their families as well. We pray to the Lord. Lord, In a moment of silence, dear friends, we offer our prayers to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, So we gather our prayers as one as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, dear friends, that this your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make for the souls of your servants, that being cleansed by heavenly remedies, their souls may be ever alive and blessed in your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have thought us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. They praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive 
forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. To deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On you stay. We told us that God among Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord Jesus Christ, bring us to life. Together we pray our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
When Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Let us pray. Restored by these sacred mysteries, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that your servants may be cleansed from their offenses and merit for all eternity the precious gift of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you always in the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord.